I don't normally drive this vehicle. My, it's my wife's vehicle. I bought it for her. She has my truck. And so I'm not used to the throttle. So I hit the throttle and just it, uh, it's got some pep and it accelerates and so it makes the, car, the camera uh, fly back. Now they're finally pulling my vehicle in. So I may be out of here uh, hopefully in the next 15 minutes or so. So, <laughs> um, lost track of what I was saying. Um, yeah, sorry, I lost track of what I was saying there. It's the base price on it. It's like 64175 with the Black Widow package adds another 26,000 so roughly 27,000 in options. I don't know if I like it. A <laughs> guy apparently doesn't remember that I told him that uh, <laughs> said, don't don't worry about the cabin air filter and the uh, air filter. And they always use that line. Oh, it's dirty. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that Jeep only has, I want to say, 11 or 14,000 miles on it. <laughs> if you're getting a, an air filter dirty uh, in that short of miles, uh, you got problems. I really wish that they would put. Um, you know, I work in the transportation industry, so I work on big trucks. Uh, I work for one of the largest trucking companies in the U.S. Um, diesel mechanic, trained diesel mechanic. I've been a diesel and truck mechanic for uh, over 17 years in the training side of the industry for the last 20. So it's not very easy to pull the wool over my eyes when it comes to stuff. You know, I do a lot of my own mechanics and stuff. Oil changes, I just don't like dealing with. I mean, you know, by the time you go buy all the oil, lift the car up, put, change the oil and everything, then you gotta get rid of it. And sometimes it's just better just to pay someone to do it. But then you gotta deal with all the upsell on stuff, right? Um, but, you know, on the trucks, you know, when we do preventative maintenance on the trucks, there's a, a restriction gauge built into the filter housing so that you can visibly see exactly how many inches of restriction are on the filter. And I might, I might just go buy one and uh, uh, drill a little quarter inch hole into the filter box and uh, put in my own filter gauge. And it's like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling. This place is pretty unique. Hey, my man, you got any change on you? I sure do, man. Can I have a couple of tents, a little bit of change back, sir? Yeah. I think a lot of God bless you already, but God All right. bless you. I'm actually live on camera right now. I'm trying not to put you on the camera here. Okay, I'm sorry. No problem. Power man? Power karma. Power karma? Yeah. Oh, okay. How about a hundred for you, man? Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, God. Can no problem. I kiss your feet? No, man. If I could get that load, I had <laughs> knee surgery. Dude, you know. Thank you, God bless you. That's a, uh, I don't need that. That's okay. Uh, don't kiss your feet, okay? Thank you, God bless you. Do something good with that. Kiss my feet. <laughs> Dude, 
I respect that. There's a hat shop for hat. <laughs> Can't even talk. Hat shop for you. I think I even got your hat picked out. I don't know if you can see that one right there. Mr. Bucko just catching up on the chat now. <clears throat> well, this camera angle probably sucks. Still Bender, Still Bender Brewery. And I've not had one of their beers yet because I, you know, I quit drinking beer a couple of years ago. And I'll have one here and there. Like when I go on uh, to Vegas next week when, when we're on vacation in Vegas, I'll probably have a beer here and there. Um, but I honestly don't drink uh, beer very much. I am hungry. Oh, here comes all the kids. Those are some high-pitched, squeaky voices. Is this cheese sauce? Like, why can't I taste that? I think it's cheese. Oh my god. But, you know that trip on that I was just on? Uh, you know, speaking of the hamburger one where I was in California, um, you know, I was out there on business. Is this cheese sauce right here? Yeah. Okay. Man, that's pretty freaking good. <clears throat> um, I keep losing track of what I'm saying here. Um, uh, Oh, the, the California trip. When I was out? Hmm. Normally I would be putting ketchup on my plate um, for these french fries. Damn. But they got a side of this cheese sauce here. It's pretty damn good. That's a pretty cheap, cheap burger. It's a $12 burger with fries. <clears throat> Look at a lot of these different murals that are on some of the buildings around here. But there's one on the, on, the, on the other side of the building over here from the parking lot where I'm parked at. I really, wow, that's a nice Prevo bus. I used to work on these. Uh, this is what I worked on when I was going to college with these uh, Prevo tour buses. Not these converted RV ones, but the actual tour buses. I uh, worked on them and drove them. I like that one. So this one, I like this mural here. This one's pretty cool. It's all about the old Santa Fe uh, trail. Right. Curse men in love and praise men at war. Let's, let's take a look at that. Bikes are better. So for all my biking and cycling friends, I don't know if you see that one there. Right there. Bikes are better. All right, everyone. Uh, that's going to do it for me. 
for sure. So, holy moly, got hot in this car. Um, I'd have to say overall, the test and what I wanted to do with testing this backpack for several hours, um, the test went well. 